Hello, and welcome back to another installment of The Kyle Davis Show. So I'm going to go off of what I was kind of talking about last time, the warnings about psychology majors. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Um, and so... There are a lot of jobs in this field. Okay. And, uh... Oh, I don't give a shit. There always be lots of jobs in this field. However, these jobs in this field don't necessarily pay all that well. What I mean by that is there's lots of jobs and they don't pay well. So what I'm trying to get at though is that the field of psychology, human services, social services, they are always hiring, okay? And it's really not that hard to get into the field. It may be a little harder without a bachelor's degree because a lot of different uh, companies want you to have a bachelor's degree. And it'll pay a little more too. Uh, but, I mean, even if you don't have a bachelor's degree, it's really not all that impossible. A lot of places will say bachelor's preferred, but you can still get in. And unfortunately, there are places that don't pay you more because you have a bachelor's degree. Some places will, some places don't. And unfortunately, I would say more places don't than do. Um, so you'd probably be at a job that that's stuck at between 12 and 15 an hour. And in some cases, you'd be lucky to get 15 an hour. Some places you'd be lucky to get 20 an hour. And if you got 20 an hour, you probably aren't making that great of money in relative to the economy in which you're living at. So, I mean, it really depends on if you truly love and get a, you know, get, you know, happy from helping people who are really struggling. And if you really do, that's great. Then you should go into that field and you'll probably be doing it for the rest of your life at that point. <laughs> but if you're someone like me who, you know, you're like, well, yeah, I've been working in this field for a number of years now and I'm still at an entry level position. And the the, I should be making more money. I should be um, being moved up. I should be able to find jobs that let me move up. And unfortunately, that's really hard in the social work field. I, I really can't say for other fields how hard it is. And it could just be me complaining. But I would imagine after, you know, maybe three, four, or five years, you could get something. Get a pay increase. Get a job promotion. Something. Well, here's the, the funny part about social work, at least in my experience, is that there's a lot of people who don't necessarily want the... They don't want a promotion because they don't want to have to deal with the extra, the uh, extra, I can't think of the word right now, responsibilities, there we go. They don't want the extra responsibilities because it's a, it's a lot more responsibilities for just a little more pay. And so some places mainly pay a quarter or 50 cents more than base pay, than the entry level positions or they may pay, you know, sometimes even a couple of dollars. 
well, two dollars an hour, if I remember right, is an extra four thousand dollars a year, which isn't bad. And if you get a couple of bucks, you know, for it, that's that's not bad. You'll be making more, but the responsibilities don't necessarily line up with the pay. So, you know, for an example, at a uh, at a residential or inpatient treatment facility, sometimes you may have to deal with restraining residents or restraining people who live there. Uh, and you'll be have to be the one to do the, not necessarily the majority of the paperwork, but you're going to be the one who the response, who the call falls on. And so if it's a bad call, well, it gets you gone. Some places even have the lead physician deal with medications at night. And so you have to be the one responsible for dealing with medications for the residents at night. The other job that you could potentially do with a psychology degree is become a psychiatric aide. I'm finding those positions are few and far between and you'd be lucky to even get one because once you get in though, once you get in that position, and this is true for a lot of the field or for the positions in the field, is that once you're in, people don't typically leave. So you have to get the experience before you get the experience sometimes. So in order to get a lead position or a position with some sort of management, you have to have some management experience. But if you want that management experience, you have to stay there or you have to get into that position. But then once people get into that position, they don't ever leave. They're there forever and ever and ever. Sometimes because it's job security, sometimes because they're happy, sometimes because they're waiting for something else. Well, if you're waiting for something else in social work, I'd tell you to just stop waiting and get out and do something else. Because sometimes you're going to be waiting an awful long time. It, it really does help to have your bachelor's in psychology in the field, especially if that's what you're wanting to do. But unless you're going to get a master's, I would say get out. I would say just leave because the pay is not going to be there. The pay is never going to catch up to even sometimes $15 an hour or you could be in the field forever. What the fuck? I have no idea what just happened. Oh, caught the sign. Interesting. Well, okay then. Okay. Okay, let's get moving. Move, you piece of shit. Anyway. Anyway. As I was talking about before, unless you actually know what you're going to do with the degree, unless you have a very specific plan, I would just say get out. Now, if you're already in the field or you're a psychology major in the field or, or you're a psychology major and you're wanting to get ideas and things, I mean, you have to keep looking around. You have to know what it is you want because if you don't, you're going to end up lost and confused 
and pretty unhappy because that's just what the field is. Like I said, there's always going to be job security, but it's going to be hard to... Uh, it, it's... Let's see, where am I going? Oh, look at that. Unless you want, like, 15 an hour, it's, it's going to be hard to come by. If you want, unless you're working at, say, a jail or something, jails and prisons are they're going to make more money. You'll probably get 16, 17, 18 dollars. You may get 20. But you're going to have to deal with restraining people. You're going to have to deal with people who are going to call you everything but your own name. They're going to cuss and swear at you all the live long day and it's going to be ridiculous. And a lot of people can't deal with back talk. A lot of people can't professionally deal with situations where it aggravates them and I'm not necessarily blaming them because it is hard but you have to know how to deal with it in a professional manner and if you can't well then you shouldn't be in the field if you can't deal with cursing and swearing at, at you all the time if you can't deal with people telling you no or having to tell people to do the same freaking thing all the live long day every single day then that's not the field for you and a lot of people will go into this field expecting that, you know, to tell people what to do and they'll, they'll get it the first time. Well, that almost never happens. Especially when you're dealing with, with juvenile delinquents. Like, people will go into that field expecting to just tell the kids what to do and they're going to listen. Like, these kids don't even listen to their own parents. What makes you think they're going to give, you know, whatever about you? They really won't. They really don't. So, yeah, if it's a hard field, it's a very rewarding field, don't get me wrong. If you want something very rewarding, and you're not driven necessarily by pay, then go ahead and do it. Like, that sounds great. And I'm not knocking anyone who's in social work. I think especially now during the coronavirus that we need social workers and doctors and frontline people more than ever but i don't think people realize how hard of a job it is i don't think people understand the capacity to which those people have to work and it's challenging and it's putting yourself at risk for anything every single day and even more so with this coronavirus going on it's so hard so challenging and I can't thank those people enough I guess this is my not, this is not only my own personal account and don't get me wrong I'm thanking social workers for everything that they are doing but I went in this field and I've been here for several years and I'm finding out it's just not for me um, I am grateful that I did it because it showed me what all could happen and the hard, the hardships that people truly go through, but it's just not for me. And I guess this is my warning for people to, if you can, figure it out before you've been in the field several years. So. All right, well, um, thanks for watching. This has been another episode of The Kyle Davis Show. Bye.